sauce. What a pleasant surprise. This morning's full of surprises, Leonidas. We've been tricked. I'll be more than a few hundred. This is a surprise. Silence. This isn't an army. We heard Sparta was on the warpath. We were eager to join forces. If it is blood you seek, you're welcome to join us. But you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? You see, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. Doesn't it? You, there. What is your profession? I'm a potter, sir. And you, Arcadian, what is your profession? Sculptor, sir. And you? Blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> See, old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, how about Shem? You have a shy about Shem Much mercy to you, uh, sincere brothers out there at the true house of David, all you believers, um, all you brothers that can understand this covenant. All you brothers that can that have a spiritual understanding, or, you know, that can really see what's actually happening, that can comprehend the higher levels to understanding, that can really see this thing for what it is, not just knowing a bunch of shit, not just reciting a bunch of wisdom of the world, because uh, like I read the other day, a lot of guys may have a lot of wisdom of this world but by the wisdom of this world they knew not the Lord and so this is the time we're actually living in we're, we're living in a time where men are they're good at knowing the knowledge of the world but one thing that they're not so good at is actually understanding the Lord like that and at this point you know I I scrolled through videos the Lord told us to pray as well as watch you know so we have to keep an eye on everything we go to revelations I think it's the fifth chapter you have those seven horns and you have those eyes that's what we're part of those seven horns go into wisdom it goes into counsel it goes into strength it goes into might and those eyes is, is we just have eyes everywhere because it's so much false doctrine that we have to actually uh, combat um, in this last day by teaching the new covenant, countering all the false doctrine. So certain videos we counter directly because guys don't have an understanding. And so, you know, I call one of these videos um and what's what's being revealed right now and I'm gonna I'm a really I'm gonna be very truthful is that these guys in these groups and these camps and the majority of people in the world do not understand the Bible at all because this guy um this guy said that he basically said that um um that the Lord's just gonna save a remnant. He's not gonna save everybody else. He's just gonna get a remnant of you niggas and you're just of the covenant, you know? Dad, that's true. That you got that right. And you know what? A lot of guys are upset at that um at understand like even them having that a little bit of that understanding, they're upset of that because they know they don't have a part of that. You see how they're like they 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 know they don't have a part of the remnant, so they're saying, they're telling you that the covenant isn't here yet for all of Israel and all of Israel this and all of Israel that. But by now, you brothers that's been watching us for a while and understand the scriptures for yourself, you understand that all our people are not going to fucking make it. And these guys talk about two thirds, two thirds. These guys are two thirds. You're two third. Without the true testimony of the Lord, which has to do with the new covenant. You a fucking two-third. 
Now, I got a couple things I want to go into because I really caught this guy. This guy reprobated. Um, these guys ain't important. But I caught this guy. He he said that the Lord is just going to save a, a remnant. And like he like these guys. And that's why the Lord, too. I want to say this. When you go to the scriptures and the Lord said, uh, when they tried to make the Lord king to exalt himself, to exalt him, and uh, John 6, I'm going to read it, but he fucking ran away from that because he did a miracle and then they wanted to put him on a pedestal. He ran away from that. Now, why did the Lord run away from that? Because when you're on these high seats, you lose your understanding. You become carnal. You what you your main thing is being seen in a bad light. Your whole thing is being accepted of the world. Your main thing is to be seen of men. Your main thing is you're of the world. So when you go to John six, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it. I got a couple of things I want to read about the remnant. Yes, the Lord is only saving a remnant, and that remnant has to do it if you have the correct doctrine of the new covenant. So a lot of you guys that a lot of you guys that's in the reprobate spirit that really don't have the 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 the, the, the testimony and the breakdown of the new covenant. We're breaking down a new covenant. If you don't have the same breakdown as the Lord and and like how brothers is doing his music, the few brothers that's taking the the old testament and they're breaking the Lord down. Um in the New Testament. This is how you break the Lord down. It's just like when you go in the book of Acts, when Philip went into that carriage or whatever with that eunuch and they flipped back to the old page of Isaiah. It was Isaiah 53 and they was reading out of it. And then he said, hey, how can you understand this unless somebody teach you? This is that is how you break down the Lord because they were breaking the Lord down, understanding that that was the Lord in Isaiah 53. So this is how you teach the new covenant by explaining the Lord, getting men to repent. Everything else you guys are teaching from these camps to you reprobates of the new covenant. And we see you guys, bro. You're not getting you're not you're not slipping around nowhere. And another thing, too, I want to say this, too, before I get in this lesson. I got a couple of things before I get out of here. I got to get in this building. Well, before. Uh, before I get into this lesson, I want to say this, <clears throat> is that in this time, men that are actually sincere, they're going to feel their sincerity in you. Now, because guys are so deceptive and they're so deceiving, they think they can deceive you by all the shit they know of the world. And at this time, what we're proving is that it is not about all the shit you know of the world. This is what these elders and these guys in these groups been fooling you. They've been fooling you, trying to get you to fucking think because they know all this carnal shit of the world that they're actually of God because they know all this shit of the world. The only thing that you know need to know is the Lord. Let me read that again in uh, Corinthians because it's heavy. The Lord said, by the wisdom of this world, they do not God, bro. That's important. By the wisdom of this world, they knew not God, bro. And so, um, yeah, I got just got. I want to read. I want to read a couple things real quick. Because that's what's happening um, in this time. Because, guys, too, you can get certain guys in a new covenant. They're good with all this worldly wisdom. They, you know, they they can they could uh, bring out all this shit of the world, and they can they can teach you certain things. But a lot of guys, they're of the world. You got to be able to see this. This thing is it, it is 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 complex to a to a certain point to where. You got to understand if you can understand what they were seeing, what they were uh, just teaching in Acts, then you can understand 
um, what the breakdown of what the what the doctrine of the Lord is, as we've broken down, is just breaking the Lord down, teaching the Lord in His doctrine. Now let me read this real quick. I read this the other day, but this is this is heavy for you to understand. Now it says uh, 1 Corinthians uh, uh, Let me see uh, Let me see Yeah it's heavy The Lord said by the foolishness Of preaching It pleased the Lord Uh to, to it, it pleased the Lord by the foolishness of preachers to to bring them in that believe. So it's really uh, actually heavy, man. It really is. So First Corinthians uh, one and um, let's read. It's heavy, bro. Yeah, here it is right here. Here it is right here. I just want to get to this point. I just want to get to this point. First Corinthians 1 and 21. For after in the wisdom of God, it says, For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. For after in the wisdom of God, the wisdom, it says, it says, of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased the power by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So the world, this world, right, it has a lot of wisdom in it. It has a lot of shit in it. It's a lot of shit you can teach. You see what I'm saying? But you knowing that shit, the main thing that you don't know is the Lord, like these elders. They've been sitting on these... Uh, high seas for 40 years teaching the old law of Moses and everything outside of the new covenant you see that all the old law and this and that and this and so what they've done is they made a curriculum because that's what they have a camp curriculum they're not in the spirit it's a curriculum that's what it is <laughs> it is it's a, it's a camp curriculum to, to have you basically go around the Lord's covenant and keep going around it now we're in a time where we're we're teaching the things of the covenant, and and, the, and to be honest, according to the scriptures, only a few men can actually teach the covenant because it, it's not revealed to everybody. But you're gonna have men that believe in it too, and they're gonna have certain testimonies, and so that's what's so beautiful. So after the wisdom of God. It said, after in that wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. So the world have all his wisdom, but they don't have the wisdom to understand God. Now, I'm going to jump. I want to jump down here. Now, first Corinthians one and twenty five, because the it says. Uh, man, this whole chapter, I might I might come back and do this whole chapter, but I just want to get to this point because I want to get to the remnant, because these guys really do not understand that. The remnant is the only one that's going to be saved. And when they talk about two thirds, they have to include themselves because you're not just you're, you're not in the truth until you repent it until you have a shy. Until if you came under the new covenant in sincerity and put your whole heart in it. You got certain guys in the new co new covenant. They haven't put their whole heart in it. They're 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 of the world. A lot of guys have fucking comp been compromised of the world. They, they probably took in deals or whatever they've taken to corrupt the doctrine of the new covenant. Or it's, guys are just reprobates. But what we're doing is we're getting you to see guys through them teaching all this shit. 
Because that's how guys been fooling you, like a magician out of a hat, like these guys in the groups. What they've been doing is they've been they've able to teach you like all this shit of the Bible, right? They can teach you certain things, but when it comes to this covenant, guys, they they don't understand it at all. And then one one guy uh, was was saying something, and it was like, "Well, the covenant's for Israel." Okay, well, what's the point? We know that. Are we in the new covenant or not? You guys that that do not repent and you stay in these groups with these elders, that just means you're of the world. Now, the the it is out there, it's clear that if you're in these camps, you're amongst corruption. And you don't have an understanding. That's why the Lord said these guys they have none understanding, they're wise to do evil, but um to do good, they have no knowledge. Exactly. This is exactly what's happening in these times. Because guys have taken high seats, they don't have an understanding. First Corinthians uh, 1 and 27. And that's why the Lord, he wasn't on no high seat. He said the son of man have no place to rest his head. The Lord would come in the synagogues, confound them and go back out to the mountains. The Lord would come in the synagogues and go back out to the outside of the city, to the wilderness of the city. He will have the multitudes and certain men, they will follow him out there. But he was not in the synagogues with these fucking corrupt men and their false doctrine. So 1 Corinthians 1 and 27, 1 and 26, let me read this. Because a lot of guys, because of their camp curriculum and all the shit they know, that knowledge... Like Paul said, too, the knowledge, it puffs you up. So these guys are puffed up in these camps with all this knowledge, but they don't have the understanding of Yahweh Shai. They're not in the spirit of the Lord. And they scoff at the idea of the new covenant being here. They say they got to see something carnal for the covenant to be here. And when you go through the book of Acts, the only thing that they were teaching um, in the book of Acts, you notice Paul was going from city to city to city and he was teaching the new covenant and the spirit was hopping on men that was in different cities. So you didn't have to be in your own land to be under the covenant. That's that's false doctrine, too. So these guys, they don't have no understanding because they took high seats. And I'm going I'm to I'm read that. It says, 1 Corinthians 1 and 26, for you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Let's read that again. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. So guys that are after the flesh, that are wise to this world, that are mighty in men's eyes in this world, they're not really called unto this spirit. That's why us few brothers uh, have been revealed certain things because guys that are sitting on high seats, the Lord is not really dealing with guys on high seats like that. They're of this world. But to you carnal guys that don't have an understanding that's who you flock to because you can't see the spirit. And a lot of you guys see the spirit. It's just that you're of the fucking world anyway. So you have to cling to the flesh. Now check this out. It says, but God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And God have chosen the weak things of the world to confine the things of the mighty, which are mighty. So the Things that's considered weak, the Lord is dealing with, like us in the low state. We're low in the flesh, but in the spirit, we're higher than them because our understanding is over, guys. It's about the understanding. That's what it's about and being sincere and being honest. You see? Not bringing false doctrine, just testifying the Lord. Testifying the Lord. What happened with the Lord? Explain his story. If you were on a witness stand in a courtroom, your whole job would be to be in the Lord's defense 
uh, defending his testimony. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Breaking him down. That's what we're doing. The rest of you guys, you're teaching the world. You're teaching women. You, this, I saw one video. This guy's teaching about Edomites having sex with animals, bro. Like, these guys are gone in these camps. All right. They're just in the way. They're, they're, they're in the way to bring confusion so you don't repent. That's what they're all set up for. Even certain guys in the New Covenant, they're just set up so you won't really repent, so you can be confused. Because a lot of these guys are of the fucking world, man. All you worldly motherfuckers. You gotta watch out for guys that have all these fucking subscribers, too. All these worldly motherfuckers. Now it says, and the base things of the world and the things uh, which are despised have God chosen. Right, and we're despised. Guys hate us. We're the, we're the real off scurring. We're the real gum on guys' shoes. That's how guys look at us in the spirit. And that's where the prosecution comes from because nobody believes in the new covenant. So you had this 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 demon. He said, uh, you got the Lord just gonna save a remnant of you niggas over there. Yeah, and the nigga in the back of his mind. He, he knows that we're right to a certain extent. He knows it to a certain extent, but he's so in, of the flesh and he's so exalted and he's so carnal that the spirit is not dealing with him to totally see. You see that? So let me finish reading this. It says, it says, and the things which are despised, yeah, God have chosen. Yeah, the things which are not to bring to not the things that are. You see that? So the Lord set us up to bring to not the things that are. The things that are considered nothing. You see? That's why the Lord said, Not many noble are called. Now, check this out. John 6 and 14 it says, Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Yahweh Shai did of this truth, that a prophet shall come into the world. So, it was known out of the Old Testament that the Lord was coming, okay? Now, what these guys are teaching is total, is blasphemy against the, the Lord. It's, it's blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. It's, 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 it's false doctrine to the highest degree. Because guys don't have the testimony in them, first of all. So, like, if you don't have something, it's best that you just don't say shit. So, guys are teaching false doctrine. And they're teaching heresies and lies because they don't have the understanding of the covenant. Yes, the covenant is here. It was put in our inward parts when the Lord came. The Lord said, receive my spirit. When he said that, and when Ezekiel 37, 38, that was speaking of the Lord to come. Ezekiel 36. These were prophecies of the Lord to come to give you a new breath. And the new heart and the new mind was displayed in Paul. It was displayed in Peter. It was displayed in Stephen. So for you guys that are not teaching like that and not breaking the Lord down, you're of the fucking world. It don't, all the shit you guys are teaching. Certain you guys are the new covenant. You're fucking, uh, you're, you're cursed. You're, you're a cursed thing, bro, in this last day. Like I read the other day. A lot of guys are cursed because their doctrine is not lining up. And you just read it for yourself and compare men. You use the Bible and the new covenant as a measuring stick for what guys are teaching. That's all you have to do. And guys don't measure up to it. They're disqualified. So when guys start going off teaching uh, women and all this shit of the world and news, you measure it up to what they were teaching in Acts. They were teaching the Lord. Now, check this out. John 6 and 14. Then those which had seen the miracle that Yahweh Shai did, said, this is of a truth that a prophet should come into the world. It says, when therefore they perceived that they would take him up by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. When Yahweh Shai perceived that they would come and take him by force and make him a king, it says, when Yahweh Shai perceived, so he knew in his mind that they were going to try to exalt him. So he hid himself. He departed alone. 
That's why we don't want to be seen. We don't want to be exalted. We're just here to teach. And I tell you, you get more edification than you fucking see us. These guys, you see them, you don't get no edification because they're not telling you to repent. They may tell you some shit of the world. They're good at that. All this shit of the world. They can tell you about that shit of the world all fucking day. That shit's endless. But as far as you how shy in understanding the doctrine, these guys were not set up to explain the Lord to you. They're against the Lord, all right? And that's what we're set up for is to explain the Lord so you can get away from them and repent to the Lord. Not come in a, our group or come under us or none of that. You have to come under the Lord, bro. This is spiritual. This ain't no carnal shit of the world. So the Lord perceived that they was going to make him king, and he went to the mountain by himself alone. All right. He didn't want he didn't come here to be be exalted. This world's evil. Why would you want to be exalted and honored? And that's the thing. A lot of you guys double honor these elders. And the Lord didn't get no honors. And technically, when they say double honor your elders, these are the elders that are in the spirit, bro, of the new covenant, man. So technically, these elders, they don't re they don't deserve no fucking honors at all or no respect. All right. Just like them old elders in the book of Susanna, they were old and wicked. And the Lord used Daniel to discern they ass. They were old and wicked. They didn't reserve no respect. Only the, you, the, the real elders are the elders that are teaching the Lord, that's it, in the new covenant. Those are the ones that Paul was talking about. He ain't talking about guys that are old, teaching the old law of Moses. That was not what he was saying, double honor. He was telling you guys that are honoring the Lord. And when it say double honor, I don't mean to double honor guys before every fucking video. You respect guys in the spirit that are teaching the Lord. Those are the elders, not guys teaching the old law of Moses. The guys in the scripture that were teaching the old law of Moses, they were against the Lord and Paul and them and Peter and them. The elders put the Lord, gave the Lord up to uh, Pontius Pilate. The chief priest did. So when it talks about double honor to the elders, the ones that are teaching the Lord. All right. Get that correct. Correctly. Not just not because guys are old. You honor them because you got a lot of old fools out here. Like these fucking elders, bro. That bunch of old fools. Now, I want to go into this real quick. This remnant. Yeah, the Lord only dealing with a remnant. He only gave the remnant the understanding to the covenant. Not all you guys of the world. Now, you may have a Bible, but the Lord didn't give you the spirit to comprehend and understand that Bible. This Bible goes really deep. It is deeper than the eyes can see. And just because you know things, you don't teach them. It's things we know. We don't just teach every fucking thing we know. Because it's not for a lot of you guys. The covenant ain't even for a lot of you guys. You guys that's in the new covenant, this ain't for you guys. Let me read this real quick. Because I thought this was real heavy. Yeah, the Lord talks about a remnant. only a remnant of the of, of power that's why it tells you in Isaiah 1 and 9 if it wasn't left for the remnant uh, we would have been as to Sodom and Gomorrah All right the whole covenant breaks down of the elect So guys that are teaching us Bible, bro, they don't have a fucking uh, understanding. They don't. Isaiah 10 and 21, and the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. Unto the right mighty power. Let me read that again. Isaiah 10 and 21, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob. So this for this clown, you guys in these camps, because you exalted yourself, you don't have no understanding. You traded understanding for exalting yourself. So now you're not in the spirit. You're just of the world like those wicked scribes and those Pharisees were sitting on them high seats. You're just of the world. It says, Isaiah 10 and 21. 
He says, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, the mighty power of God. The remnant is just a selected few of men are returning to God right now. The rest of you guys are reprobate by your doctrine. All right. And a lot of guys understand what we're teaching from what all you guys are teaching. Even you guys in the new covenant, we stick out differently than you. And it's supposed to be like that. We're different from all you guys that's teaching. And I'm going to say this for you guys. Everything is being revealed right now. Everything. Ain't, everything is being revealed right now. If you can't see it, then you're still blind. But everything's being revealed right now. Who's everybody is, bro. And when, like I said, when Paul was talking about double honor, it was only pertaining to men that were teaching the Lord. And were teaching the new covenant. It wasn't talking about men teaching the old law of Moses. Guys have no understanding. So technically, these elders don't deserve no honor. They don't deserve no apologies. Are you reprobates apologizing to these elders, man? Boy, you guys, you guys need to go just shut up. A lot of you guys don't need to teach nothing for real because it just shows like the more you teach, the more it shows that you, you don't have understanding. Isaiah 10 and 22, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. Yet a remnant of them. All right. Not everybody. So only a remnant is really going to have the understanding of the new covenant and the breakdown of it. That's why the Lord said, I reveal myself unto them and not the world. I in them and them in me. It says the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. And that's what we're doing in this last days. And we can't help it. You see, it's just a remnant. Jeremiah 44, 28. Yes, shall a number that escaped the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt unto the land of Judah and all the remnant of Judah that are gone in the land of Egypt to Zizorn there. Shall I know these words shall stand mine or theirs yet shall a number that shall escape the sword shall return out of the land of egypt and the land of judah and all of the remnant there's only a remnant of our people that have this understanding he didn't give all our people the understanding of this covenant the new heart is only for us of remnant now what we'll backs that up i love pulling this because the lord says many didn't receive him the, the ones that receive them, those are the ones that are, are of God. It says John 1 and 12, but as many as received them, to them gave he power to become the sons of power, even to them that believe on his name. Woo! So the ones that receive the Lord, these are the ones that are power. So us few brothers that received the Lord in our past life and you brothers that believed on him, you believing on him now. And you're receiving them now. The rest of you guys in these camps, you're going to perish because you don't have no understanding. It wasn't given unto you. Yeah, you know a bunch of shit of the world. But as pertaining to the Lord, this wasn't given unto you. All right. And that's why this is so precious to, uh, for us. But with that, man, let me get out of here, man. Let me let me get out of here. I have to speak with you brothers a little bit later. And uh, I will not stop. You brothers that can understand where I'm going, repent and just separate yourself and, and pray and get yourself together. Build yourself up in the Lord. That's all this is about is repenting unto the Lord, understanding him. And with that, man, let me get out of here. I'll speak with you brothers a little la later. Yes, the remnant have obtained it and the rest of you motherfuckers are blinded in darkness. Straight darkness. Hey, with that, hey, shalom.
Pluto. That's an out Pluto. That's an out Pluto. That's an out.